He says, I tell you the truth. Can you believe him? When he says, I can tell you the truth, I think he's trying to say, I can tell you the truth. So if he says, if I'm telling you the truth, if anyone, any anyone's here? Who's an anyone? Come on. You're an anyone. If anyone, there's a child. He says, come to me like children, like the faith of a child, because it's anyone. If anyone has faith in me, if anyone believes, if you're in anyone, you're right for it. If anyone. He says, I tell you the truth, if anyone says to this mountain, understand there what he's saying, he's saying, say to the mountain, too many people go, oh, I'm not feeling well today, or oh, I've got this problem I've got and this situations coming to call me. I haven't got a job and I might get sick. They're speaking about the mountain, but not to the mountain. He says, say to the mountain, be removed. Sickness, I command you to leave my body. Speak to you, your sickness. Oh, that sounds a bit nutty. You're going to go have a nutcase. No, God says it. It settles it. Speak to your mountain. Speak to your problem. That bill must go. Lord, I command blessings in that. I need that to be finalized. I need a job. I command you to come forth, job. Pain, leave. Speak to your mountain. Don't talk about your mountain. Speak to it. And he says, speak to the mountain and say this. Go, throw yourself into the sea. Go, go. Go, throw yourself in the sea. It's a command. So, oh, please, oh, where, where you go? Oh, I really don't want this. Can you please go? Lord, can you take it away? God says, I've given you all authority. Command it in Jesus' name. I've given you authority. You have the Holy Spirit of God, God living within you. God wants to do it. You command it. You've got authority. You tell that devil to go. You tell those things to happen. Tell your relationship to get back in order. You do it. Because I've given you authority to go out and do these wonderful things, he says to his disciple. But what we do is we keep asking. You look through and do a, te- do, a, do a whole look through Mark and all the times when, when Jesus, you know, performed miracles. He never said... The demon possessed me, come up, and he laid it, and Jesus said, oh, oh, it's a demon. Uh, would you please go in the pigs? No, he said, shut up and get into the pigs, didn't he? Everywhere. Be quiet, come out. Stand up, take your mat. He had authority, and he commanded to go. We need to be people that command authority in things. Too many people lay down in their relationships, lay down in the defeats, instead of speaking to them out and said, get lost. I've killed the lion and the bear. This gun, uncircumcised Philistines, nothing. You're going down, man, and I'm going to cut your head off with my sword. Did he say, do you know what, guys? See this big guy over here? I think I'll just cut off his head. No, he spoke to the mountain. He said, you're going down, man. You've got no right. When the devil comes and starts throwing stuff in your head and starts putting you down, you need to say, excuse me, you, you have no right to speak to me. Get back under my feet where you belong. I have all authority in Christ. You have no authority. You've been defeated. So go away. It's not being nutty. It's being real. It, this is the spirit realm around here. We've got to live in this realm of faith. We need to live in who we are and get to know him so powerfully. Come on. And he says, throw yourself into the sea. Need to know what your mountain is. First thing you need to do is, is find what your mountain is in life. We all have mountains. We'll have waves. We'll have things that are, that are going to come against us. What is your mountain? What is your issue? Define it. Find it. Single it out. Go for it. Get rid of it. Too many people see it and they're moving defeat. I'll never get over that. All my life people spoke nasty things about me. She just did it too. I'll never get over that. You need to say, that was in the past. I'm moving on. You might not think I'm worth it, but he does. And I'll tell you what, I never thought I was worth it much. I might not now, but I'll tell you what, I'm moving to believe what he says. What you say is not right. I'm not going to lie down. I'm going to go. Come on. Define it, go for it. Then he says there, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes 
does not doubt in his heart. It says in his word that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Is it not? So when you have doubt of anything, you can't believe. Because you believe for a second, but then a circumstance comes and you, oh, no, no, it's not going to happen. Then your faith diminishes. God's looking for people that are going to stand in his word and stand strong. And know that whatever faces you, you're not going to doubt this. You, you, you know, we're human. Come on. We all have little things that go inside and you think, oh, God, please, oh, you've got to come through here. But we've got to grow through it. Because when he does get you through, you've got to say, oh, I can learn from that. Thank you. And I'm growing. Okay? You're getting something. Come on. It says, do not doubt in your heart, not in your head. The soul, mind, emotions, will, soul, heart, spirit. Get in your heart where it's deep and it's real and it'll stay forever. Get it deep within you. Get it deep inside, in your spirit. Hey, once you've got that in there instead of in the head, then nothing will stop you. And it says, but believes. Do not doubt in your heart, but believes what he says will happen and it will be done. Do you think Jesus, when he said, get up and take your mat, do you think that he would think, well, I hope it works as he gets up? Do you? No. He said, get up, take your mat. On to the next person. It's happened. We've got to get to that point when we pray, we just say, it's happened. You know, like Daniel 9 and 10, he prayed 21 days, fasted, it came. There was a principalities and spirits, the prince of Persia and the earth were, you know, up there fighting and for the word to get through. Next time it came instant. He believed. Just believe. Believe it'll happen. Whatever you're going through, you know, God's listening, God's watching. Believe it. And he's coming through for you. He, he's got the answer. He will not let you go. He loves you so much. He will take care of you. That's his promise. Please remember that. No matter what, you, no one can take your life. No doctor's report can do anything against what God says until he says Come home. I'm serious. They've got to get through him to get to you. You point the bone at the doctors, point the bone at you and saying you're going to die. You've got six months to live, put everything in order. I don't care what you say. What's he say? What's this say? It may look dark. It may look like a mountain. It may look bad. But what's God saying to this situation? That is what's important. And that's why God's saying to us, come on, we've got to meet. He says, believe whatever he says, it will happen and it will be done for him. That's Jesus, not lying. He says, just believe that it happens and it will happen. But please understand this. Don't you go outside of here and say, oh, Lord, I'm believing for a new SLR Mercedes Benz, $250,000. They're so fast. You probably won't get it. It's when you say, I don't want the Mercedes, I don't need it, it's okay. You probably get one. That's the way God is, He's opposite, you know? You've got to pray in God's will. When you, you'll see in a minute when we're talking that the linchpin of this is prayer. And if you don't pray, you will not receive. You'll get to not to know God, and you'll never get to know His will, and you won't know how to pray to receive. See, Jesus knew the Father intimately. The two were one. So when he prayed, he knew what the Father thought about his, his culture, who he is, everything. You know what I mean? So when he prayed, he prayed in the Father. He says, I pray in my Father. Is it not? So when we pray, we just got to really get to know his will and understand him. So he says, believe will happen. He says, therefore, he goes on, I tell you, whatever. Say whatever. whatever. You're still awake? Whatever. That means whatever. The Greek word means whatever. Okay. You ask. 